Welcome back to the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. I am Carrie Green. I am nobody but a brother in Christ who cares that you and I honor our God. Our God is everything. He is our Redeemer. He is worthy of our attention and our devotion. And if we're going to be devoted, it takes effort on our part. It takes intentionality. And this morning mindset, I guess, is one expression of mine of the importance of that fact. We have got to do things that intentionally put us in a place where we can focus on our God. And mindset is so huge in that. And this morning mindset is aimed at helping you do that. So I hope that these are helpful to you. I would love to hear from you because, you know, I need encouragement too. I need to know these are being useful. And so if you want to reach out, my email address is Carrie, C-A-R-E-Y, at livebuildchange.com. I would love to hear from you. Now, we've been looking at the life of Moses and the things God did in Moses' life that were encouraging and can be encouraging to us in our day. And today we're in Exodus chapter 7, and this is at the beginning of Moses' uh, encounters with Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt. And Moses has come to Pharaoh and has asked the, that he, he let the people of Israel go. And Pharaoh is saying, no, he won't do it. Well, this is the beginning of God's judgments against Pharaoh and against Egypt. And this brings up a topic that is hard for us to swallow sometimes. And that is when God does things in history, in the world, that are harmful, that are painful, that are in judgment on people. And in this circumstance, there were many people in the people of Egypt who, in regards to Moses and Israel, were quote-unquote innocent. They had not done anything directly against the Israelites or against God's people, yet they received the punishment, the, the judgment of God, just like Pharaoh does. And we can tend to have questions in our minds about such things. And we wonder, how is that fair? Why would God, who is said to be a loving God, do such things to people who are seemingly innocent? Well, there are answers to these things, and sometimes they're not answers that are easy to swallow. But in this case of these plagues that God poured out, God says repeatedly throughout these plagues, I am doing these things that you may know that I am the Lord. And when he says the Lord, it's all in capitals, which indicates God is using his proper name to describe himself. So he's saying that you will know that I am the I am. In other words, he's saying, I am the God above all gods. I am the self-existent one. I am the most glorious person in the universe. And I'm doing these things to show you, to enable you to know that fact. Now, why is that such an important fact? Why is it so important that God would use painful circumstances to impress that upon people? Well, it is so important because he, as the infinite, all-powerful God, is the only source of life for human beings. He is the only source of eternal security for human beings. He's the only source of lasting love and peace and hope and joy. And God is willing to use any means necessary, including judgment, to impress that knowledge upon people. Because it's only in seeing him for who he really is that people will be able to turn and delight in him and desire him above all other things. So today, if you're going through a hard time, if you see a hard time on the horizon, remember, God is using that to remind you how wonderful he is. And you should turn to him. You should not get angry or bitter. You should turn to him and say, yes, God, you are better even than these things I believe I'm losing, even than the comfort that is being pressed out of my life right now. And I will worship you. Let's talk again tomorrow.